This is Brad's idea, not mine. <laughs> oh my god! Smoke this detector is taped up. This is not my idea, you fucking liar. No. You're like, I've always hated my brother. I want to suffocate him when he gets home from work. I thought to fill Steven's room up with fucking fog for his return. Don't you dare fucking puff at me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh getting pretty ridiculous pretty quick. I think I might. Uh, th it'd be really funny if for the prank we just were both passed out by the time he actually got home. What do you think? I'd rather die. I mean, it might happen in the process. So right. hopefully, Steven knows CPR. He can revive us because he doesn't come home for like five more hours. Holy <laughs> <laughs> so spooky. We need to block this door off. Dope ass big cloud. Every time I talk, smoke leaves my lungs. You hear that? That's the sound of some probably fog. Also, what the hell do you know about home decor? It says. Don't leave fog machine unattended right underneath the second step, which is don't drink the fog water. It would be really, it would be a good prank if it caught on fire. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Your room burnt down. <laughs> Got him. Just yours. Steven's almost home. This is freaking ridiculous. My job is to remove this towel uh, at the last possible second so it's not suspicious, but also not let the fog come out under the door. I hope the house blows up, dude. I <laughs> Brad's remote wasn't working, so we just went in to see. <laughs> I started. It. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, get this out of here. He's home, boys. Just like start watching the video or something, and then or scrolling through whatever. <laughs> Dude, he, was, uh, he noticed it's not even turning the light on.